Hi everyone, thanks for joining me on another video. Today is going to be all about the Peak District. This is literally my favourite walk. I've been doing it since I was about four with my parents and then uh, obviously carried on as I've got older. But I just realised the other day that I've never actually recorded it, never done a YouTube video on it. So I've come up today with my two boys. We've got Deacon here and Buddy. I'm sure you've seen them before. We're basically just going to follow me on the loop. Uh, so we're, we've started at Kerber Edge and we're going to go along the edge and then we're going to go right the way down up onto Big Moor, White Edge and then we're going to loop it right the way back round onto Baslow Edge with views over Chatsworth and then back to Kerber Gap Car Park. So let's crack on with it and we'll see some beautiful views along the way. So as, as you'll have just seen, there was a small post just now at the top of this. And uh, what I did is I just took the uh, path to the right, but you can take the path straight on. It's just the path straight on is quite rocky and bouldery. Uh, on although it's easy for me and the boys, uh, some, some people might find it a bit difficult to come down. So I've just shown you the, the easier way, but the other way just comes straight down this path. And that's the way I've just come. So what we're going to do now is head towards those trees over there. entered the woodland part lovely little woodland this mainly made up of uh, silver birch there's a majority of the trees and a lot of bracken fern the odd oak but yeah you just follow this path all the way to the end and it brings you out onto the road which will then go past the grouse inn lovely country pub perfect on a winter's day it's not winter's day today a bit autonomous but perfect for a quick jar and a chip butty maybe we will crack on today just coming off the path slightly so I've just noticed these have just caught my eye Look at these mushrooms. Woo. Good hoard there, but you don't want to be eating these ones. Very vibrant. When things in the wild are brightly coloured, like these mushrooms, it usually means danger. Not all the time. Not all the time, but usually means danger. So make sure you know what you're picking before you pick them. Or more importantly, before you eat them. But yeah, avoid these, but they are beautiful. So just as you start to come down out of the woodland, you'll come across this sign. Straight on. 
takes you down to the road straight away but if you bear right just keeps you off the road a little bit longer so we'll bear right so now we're at the bit where we enter the road so I suppose you could say this is the worst bit but it does lead you to the pub so yeah just take care walking up the road less than a mile so here we have the grass in behind me and as much as it's tempting to stop for a quick jar carry on just past it and you can see just the gap opposite that sign we're going to go through that and into the field so we'll just cross over now So just walk diagonally straight across this field and to the next gate and into the next bit of woodland. So the last time I did this walk was probably the, the beginning of this year and I set out and it was alright, it was decent weather but I came, I did it in the opposite direction and the weather turned and it was so snowy sort of blizzard conditions absolutely beautiful but yeah it's uh, really really thick white snow massive flakes and I come down to this woodland and came across this that somebody's obviously put together I had a little sit in there and had some uh, had a brew they've actually done it really well covered it in old sticks dead fall and look at that look at all the moss that's on it so as you approach this you get to a T bit of a T junction in the path and uh, you can go right which is slightly shorter or you can go left and that just adds on another sort of mile probably so with it being such a nice day today, I'm going to show you the longer version. So this is the sign here. So you've got white edge to your right. It just says bridal way to your left. So take the sign for the bridal way if you want it slightly longer. And if you want a shorter version then go straight to white edge. So just keep walking along the path and as you come to towards the end you'll come to a lovely building. For any James Bond fans out there, it kind of always reminds me of the Skyfall building. Obviously not so grand as that, but it is still beautiful. It's owned by National Trust and you can stay there. Uh, so we're on the Longshore Estate now. So as you get to that building, or just before it, you bear right. just head up in between this little tiny valley and you'll come up to another gate as soon as you get to the gate you just want to turn right again come here. so as you come along the path you'll approach this sign on your left that battered sign post sure it sees some decent weather up here and if you look to your right that's the path where that dry stone wall is that you would have come up when I went left before where Mark signpost bridal way and that brings you up where it said white edge and as soon as you go through this gap in the wall this is where we go all the way along now we just hug the ridge uh, hug the edge sorry and this is white edge quite exposed up here especially in winter conditions but it's nice today it's the breeze a bit of cloud about but yeah it's really nice so after about half an hour of walking about three quarters away along the ridge you'll you'll see the uh, the trig point to the left hand of you obviously it's a clear day today so you can see it but if you follow the main path 
it will take you straight on and you will pass it if it's a low cloud or misty day or the rain's coming down and you're battering and you won't see that so uh, yeah just look out for this path we'll head that way now and get to the trick point So you'll follow the dry stone wall down on your right hand side and as you get to this signpost it'll say Kerber Gap right, right edge, white edge left and Birchin edge to your right. If you're just doing the uh, Kerber loop then you want to head straight down there and that takes you straight back to the car park. However, I'm going to be going that way, signpost for Birchin edge. And that's because I'm going to go over there, have a spot of lunch, and then I'm going to take you over the road and carry on onto Baslow Edge, which is just a short edge that loops you back to the car park. Typically, it started to rain as I'm having my lunch, but that is very warming. I do actually really rate this brand, uh, Adventure Food. All their packet dinners are, are really nice. This is just a vegetarian one. I'm not a vegetarian, but it's one I had at home, so I thought I needed to use it up. basically wet mashed potato with loads of vegetables in it but it does the job anyway you don't want to see me eat all this and get it all down my top so we'll crack on fill my belly and then we'll be on our way again so I've had my lunch up there and I've just followed the there's a really wide green path that comes all the way down and then narrows off to this and brings you all the way to the road and you want to go through this gate and straight over the other side now for anyone who is nervous of cows Probably best you avoid this way. These are Highland cattle, and although they are used to people, it still can be pretty nervous when you walk through that lot. So, I'm, because I've got the dogs, I'm going to take a bit of a wide berth because there is a young one there that's just stood up. If I don't make it, if I don't make it. Make sure somebody comes back for the GoPro. Might be some brilliant outtakes on it where I'm getting trampled to death by cows. Oh, look at them. They're beautiful and peaceful. He says. Oh, shit. There they are, look. Want to fly? Sugar me, I've just found. I'm being followed. Run! 
Leg it! Leg it! I mean, I'm rock hard, but I can't take on like 60 sheep chuffing leg it. Come on, boys. Let's go. Give us some space. So we're just coming round the corner now onto Baslow Edge. As you can see in the distance, there's Chatsworth House. So we're just going to follow this edge all the way around, which will lead us back to the car. Come on lads, let's do this. So over there we have the Eagle Stone, which a lot of people come to climb on, used for bouldering and things like that. There's a bit of history behind that stone, but I'll let you find out what that is. Lots of climbers come from all across the country to the Peak District for the grit stone, it's really good. But there's loads of fascinating formations and growing up as a kid, I always used to love getting to this one, because I always used to think it looked like Mufasa from Lion King, looking out across the Pride Lands, although more the, the Derbyshire Dales, the Peak District. Well that's it guys, we're back. So the car's just over there where that clump of trees are. Just behind me over there is Kerber Edge, where we started. And this is the end of Baslow Edge. And if you can see, it tells you there what's what the viewpoint is. What do you think boys, are you all done? You finished? You finished gonna? Want to drink? Go get some food? Like a bird Come on, on a then. tree. Let's go. I'm just sitting here. I got time. It's clear to see. From up here, the world seems small. We can sit together. It's so beautiful, you and me. We meant to be in the great outdoors, forever free.